In terms of the actual kind of management at night, when your girls were screaming and crying, you were hearing something that actually now I think we recognise it wasn't. What, what, was the mis what were you hearing? Well, my main worry was that, you know, it's because they actually needed my love during the night, but it's not they just want to get their own way and get out of bed. And Yeah. And, you know, in the morning they still come and give you a big kiss and a big hug and as if nothing had happened, you know, and I, I'm expecting, um, and still probably, you know, a, a rundown of the night, you know, was it OK to leave you in your room at night? And did you mind being in your room last night? And that they're not bothered at all, they don't, they've no. forgotten about last no. night, you know. So has your relationship deteriorated with your girls this week since you've been doing this sleep training? No, and that was what I was worried about. Mm. Um, Behaviour with your girls... Pulling hair, biting, head banging, mm. sort of lot, quite a lot of scratching, faces and things. We had, I think, quite an important day, uh, the day that the buggy came into the house, if you yeah. remember. Should we just remind ourselves of that sort of moment of, of, uh, of <laughs> Delphi and Rebecca? <laughs> hey, 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 stop it, stop it. Rebecca? Uh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. She's been doing that all her life. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you see, we want kids with spirit. We want a little girl who can do that because yeah. it's just adorable <laughs> and also it says this is a little girl who knows what she wants and this is a world where, you know, people take advantage and it's a tough old world for children, it's a tough old world for adults and we don't want compliant little meek children who say, OK, have it and, no. and who say, yes, of course you can share. We want little ones that struggle with those issues, don't we? We want them to just be... This yeah, is me. Yeah, she was like that. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. The thing is, though, we've Just got to try and help it. them learn yeah. how to manage it. Your girls now are of the age where they should learn anger management. They should learn how to manage There's their rage. Anger it's management really... course. Well, I think oh, we've kind of done it, haven't we? I guess. I guess so. I, say, I don't feel they've calmed down with each other at all. I think but that's I unlikely. Feel, yeah. I didn't know if that was what was supposed to happen, um, but. I, I don't, I don't feel like it should have happened. I just feel like I know how to deal with it, and that's good. <laughs> What's the new improved mummy, then? How, what, are, what are these girls getting now when they're doing their big tantrum, Oscar-winning performances? They're not going to get anything. <laughs> the one that's doing that, but the one that isn't doing it is going to get some attention, and I'm going to sort it, but I'm, I'm not going to be tired, and I'm going to be alert. Can you quite believe you've done this? You look so shocked. <laughs> oh, what? You've done awfully well, haven't you? I mean, what she's had to deal with, the epilepsy, the sleep deprivation, the this, the that, the... And a grumpy old bugger upstairs called me. She's done awfully well. It's almost as if something shifted for you yesterday. Yesterday, you were sobbing like a little girl. In order for you and Larry to really be on track as a couple, I think you have to finally say goodbye to your dad. And I think that's so painful for you to hear, but I think it's the truth. Oh, sweetheart. In order for you to feel stronger as a woman and to feel more of a grown-up and feel stronger as a mother, you kind of do need to say goodbye to him which then allows Larry not to have to also be the older man, the father and the husband. Larry can just be your husband because you acknowledge that your father isn't, alive, isn't around anymore. He's in your heart, as you say. I think that's such an important point. But he's not there with you every night with his arm around you. Your husband is. So, yes, I miss him terribly. Yes, I feel cheated that he was taken away when I was two and a half. And yes, after that, emotionally, things weren't great. But... That's for me to deal with. But f as far as my girls go, I'm their mum, I'm in charge, and it's OK for me to say no to them. Mm. And it doesn't mean to say that I don't love them in the way that you might have felt. It's been a total privilege to spend this week with you. Thank you for coming in. You're mm. such a lovely mother, and I think that you are going to sleep well, you're going to manage your girls better, you're going to have time for yourself. I think you have just done extraordinary things I don't even think you thought you could do.